happy Earth Day, Cherry Blossom family. Welcome back to the channel if you are new here. Hi, my name is Jessie. My nickname is Miss Cherry, hence the name of the channel. But today I am doing a video that I've probably been talking about for years. This has been a craft project and something that I've wanted to do for so, so long. I've been collecting patches and I want to put them on my 1980s sewing chair. <laughs> so I have had this sewing chair for, I wanna say at least 15 years. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to show like an upcycling video on Earth Day just because um, that's kind of what Earth Day is all about, recycling, reusing, and uh, saving our planet. Jesse and I, my husband, Jesse and I, our house has probably 80% used furniture. We don't typically purchase new furniture. The only time we've had made a big purchase of new furniture was when we moved into this house about five years ago. I did buy couches and chairs for our main living room. Everything else was purchased off of Craigslist or through garage sales because we just really like eclectic, strange things. Sometimes you'll see in videos, I sit by these red couches. Those were purchased from a Craigslist ad. <laughs> so a lot of people are like, where did you get those red couches? I'm like, from a random person. <laughs> but today I have a three to $4 Salvation Army chair that I got 15 years ago that I've always, always wanted to customize. And today we're finally customizing it together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you what the chair looks like. We probably need to dust the chair. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever been dusted. I mean, I'm sure it has, but just not recently. It has not been dusted. Show you the chair. I'm gonna go over all of the patches that I have. These are all of my patches. Some of them have some stories behind them, so I did wanna share some of that with you. And then we're gonna get started. We're gonna lay the chair down and we're gonna start actually placing them exactly where we wanna go, ironing them down and getting into this. I'm so excited guys. This is going to be so much fun. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> ah, probably should have cleaned the craft room before this happened. Oh well. Guys, this is just real life craft room action. So I apologize. These are projects that I need to do. This is wear a storm of fluff and also wear a storm of fake flowers. So I got no excuses here. Oh, if anyone is a Drag Race fan, um, I did create a detox uh, little bead artwork from when um, she did her painting dance. Do you guys remember that episode? Anyway, love me some detox. Okay, we're getting off track. So here's my sewing machine. Here is my sewing desk. I've also had this desk for about 15 years. I got it at the same time that I got the infamous sewing chair. So this sewing chair is made of tweed. It's really, really good quality. It's gotten a significant amount of use over the last 15 years. It is in such good condition. Sometimes I feel like these types of chairs are meant for the long haul. It is such a comfortable chair as well. And it's perfect height for sewing, as you can see with the sewing machine right there. So I have cleaned the material up a little bit. I did use like a lint roller. And then I also used this thing. It's like a defuzz thing. So you turn it on and then it takes away all like the fuzz. As you can see, like there's a little bit in there right now. And I did most of it, but we might have to use this again. So I've got it handy just in case because I really want this fabric to be as smooth as possible so it adheres better. As you can see, there's like a couple of little, um, we might have to go over it again, a couple little fuzzies that might need to be sheared off. So anywho, this is what the chair looks like. Eventually I want to take these off and paint them a certain color, whatever kind of matches the patches. I have also seen people take chairs and actually make this like a glitter element, which I think would be super fun, especially in a craft room. So you guys will have to let me know down below after this is all over. What color do you think that we should change this to? And we might do that in another video. Okay, let's talk patches. 
Okay, so here's some of my loose patches. This is a vintage patch that I thought was absolutely hilarious. I've actually had it since I was in high school. It just struck a funny bone with me. Um, it doesn't have any adhesive on the back, so if we use this one, it's going to require some fabric glue. We've got Ariel Seashell. We have, I mean, come on guys, we couldn't get through this without a Backstreet Boys patch. <laughs> This kitten was actually from Pygmy Hippo Shop. It's a really super cute boutique store that has tons of really cool antiques and really stylized like 1950s, 1960s, 1970s style items. If you get an opportunity to go to downtown LA and go to this shop, it is so awesome. And for those Animal Crossing fans, the new Leaf fans or um, older, this is Katrina. She is the fortune teller that comes to your town and always says right before you leave, the bad times are just times that are bad. <laughs> and I think this is a really good reminder right now as well. And this patch is absolutely stunning. It's from a small shop on Etsy. If I can find it, I will link it below. My best friend Nikki gave this to me. Her and her mom also have this patch. This is kind of an inside joke from all of us that when we do something stupid, we always say Huffleclaw. <laughs> um, I don't know uh, why, but that started when we went um, all to Universal Studios a few years ago, and it just makes me laugh. So this will definitely be being used today. We've got Miko. We've got a couple of Baymax patches, Shroot Farms, that beautiful aerial that looks like it's on a Letterman's jacket, Stitch, a monorail. We've got like a 1990s-esque alien. This one will definitely be used. Then we have this patch. So I have a story about this patch. This is the Emporia Zoo patch. This is actually a patch that was from Jesse's uniform when he was a zookeeper. Jesse was a zookeeper, which is kind of interesting. But one, uh, this was from Kansas when we lived back in Kansas. Um, one time during Valentine's Day, Jesse actually took me to the Emporia Zoo and he gave me a complete backstage tour of the zoo, which I thought was so amazing. I got to feed all of the animals. We got to, um, I loved owls. I still love owls. I got to feed all of the owls. And then he took me and I got to pet the mountain lion who purred like a kitten. It was so fun and different and interesting and I will never forget that experience that was such a cool experience and so that patch kind of reminds me of that memory so it's definitely something that is going to be used and since it was on his uniform I actually just took the seam ripper and took out the stitching that he had stitched it on his clothing with so I could salvage the patch and actually use the patch on the chair so I, um, yeah, this definitely has a special meaning to me. So good memories are attached to that patch. Okay, moving on, turn you back around. These patches here are actually from Daiso, which is a Japanese store. Um, some of these were given to me by Christina at Playdates and Travels, um, who is my friend and also Alex from Australia. So these are from a couple of different people and I think these are so adorable. They'll be great fillers too, because they're really tiny. This is Makings of a Dreamer. This is a, an Etsy small shop. I absolutely 100% will be using this. Everyone, if you guys are new to my channel, I'm obsessed with Gerald. This is Gerald from Finding Dory, one of my most, he is my most favorite side character or, or small character, I would say. In the film for like 20 seconds. <laughs> This is one of my most favorite patches. It says, I didn't choose the craft life. The craft life <laughs> chose me. Y'all know what time it is. Who all the little liquor? super duper silly and funny this is from mini house studios again i'll link all the small shops down below if i can find their information or if they're open still i bought this several years ago we've got a really cool patch alice in wonderland this is stunning i love the pansies in this i definitely would like to use this wilderness explorer we've got a really cool sequined flounder and then these are actually stick-on patches that are emoji patches i'm not sure i love the people patches but i think the sebastian patch in particular is super adorable as is the flounder i just don't know if i love this style we'll see this is part of the patched collection 
that is from the Disney parks. And so I have both Cinderella Castle and Sleeping Beauty Castle. Ideally, I would like to see this maybe like right in the center at the bottom of the chair. And then also on the inside of the chair, I wanted to go ahead and patch this part too. So it's going to be two sides. So maybe do Cinderella's on this side because I thought that might look kind of cool. So here's these two. Um, one of these was given to me by Christina at Playdates and Travels. Thank you, Christina. I know that you've you've given me so many amazing gifts. So thank you for that. So yeah, I will definitely be using these as well. You'll have to let me know down below how you feel about these patches. I think it's a bit confusing how big Sleeping Beauty's castle is compared <laughs> compared to um, Cinderella's castle, but maybe they just did that to kind of save space since Cinderella's is so much taller. I know, so many of you have also given me patches, so it's not just Christine at Playdates and Travel. Several of you have given me patches over the years, so thank you to everyone who has sent magic mail to me that has included a patch. I'm so excited to be able to finally get this done. This was actually from a, I believe a Magic at Your Door box, or maybe it was a bippity box. Oh no, I'm the worst. Oh no. Um, it was given to me through a subscription box. How about that? <laughs> so I love this. It's got figment holding some flowers. It's got the Epcot spaceship earth that says, let your imagination grow wild. And then it has Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2019. So I probably won't be using the 2019 because I actually did not get to go to that festival, but the two non-dated patches I think I'm going to be using. This was from Mickey's 90th. This was actually a Target purchase that I made. Um, this was when they had all those really cool things that they came out with at Target for Mickey's 90th birthday. These were actually prizes from the Festival of the Arts. Uh, I think it's, it's not Figment Around the World. It's... I'll look up the name and I'll put it here. I'm sorry, I can't remember off the top of my head. I have a really bad memory, by the way. <laughs> so these are some really cool patches I might be using. Like, I love the plain Mickey. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use... I mean, the hand is cool, too. The pants... I don't know if I want pants on there. We'll have to see. But let's go ahead and get started trying to figure out placement for all of these patches. Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire everyone this is Telly I was asked to show Telly on a video so here's my sweet girl she's 13 years old and she's my best friend <laughs> hi baby mm. uh, she joined us while we're doing this so I have laid out all the patches they look good I decided to go ahead and take them off I took a picture of them on my phone so I would know where to place them because I have got to peel off some of them have like a peel off back and some of them I'm going to need to use glue for. So I needed a second to kind of collect my thoughts. So I'm gonna turn this chair back down and we're gonna start adhering all of these patches to them. So you guys will have to let me know down below what your favorite patch was from all the patches that you've seen in this video so far. There are so many. And what's crazy is I thought I was gonna have like way too many patches and I actually don't have enough. <laughs> So this is probably going to be an ongoing project, which actually is kind of good. So I can like continue to collect some patches. So, so I have just 
taken all of the water out of my iron because I don't want there to be any possible steam in this whatsoever. This is a really, really old iron and you just want to make sure that you have your steam setting all the way on the very off switch and then you want it to be as hot as possible. So I have it on the linen setting and I will be plugging that in in a second. And then I went to the kitchen and I got a tea towel because I need to be able to place this like on top of the patches just so I don't ruin the exterior with the heat. There are some really old ones that I'm a bit concerned about, but we're gonna try it and see how it works. Fingers crossed we don't damage any. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. did it it is all finished both front and back thumbs up now I love how this turned out this is exactly what I was envisioning something that looked very retro kind of fun lots of patches lots of colors I feel like this chair definitely emulates my personality and all of the fun aspects of it it's just super fun I'm happy with how it turned out now onto the inside of the chair. This is what it looks like. There is definitely room for some more patches, but I do like how it's turning out. I do like the coloring of it. It's really fun. And I can't wait to add some more patches. I spoke with my mom and she's gonna be sending me some that she found recently from my childhood bedroom, which I cannot wait to add. Okay guys, what did you think of this chair? Like, how do you feel about it? Would you ever do anything like this? I sometimes wonder, if I'm the only person that would <laughs> make a patch chair. I mean, it's definitely not a popular um, style of <laughs> decorating, I don't feel, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm a completely weird, sometimes strange person. So I think it turned out really well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like me to do more craft videos like this, please let me know in the comments down below because I do things like this often, and I just never know if you guys want to see them or not. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, give a thumbs up for Mother Earth. Woo! She's really killing it lately with this quarantine thing. I'm really proud of her. She's recovering and uh, feeling a bit better, which is kind of cool to see. So I hope that you are well and happy and healthy. I hope that you're enjoying your Earth Day. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for lots of Disney content, crafty content, unboxings, you name it. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. TTFN, bye!